Hey there guys! I am back with another crochet tutorial today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this super cute and really easy leaf pattern. So this applique is great if you're making flowers. It's great to have a little leaf to go with your flowers. And it's really cute because it actually has the spine of a leaf and the veins. So we use the back post and front post double crochets to create that spine. And then we use a rib stitch to create those uh, veins on the side of your leaf. So let's get started. For today's tutorial, you will need some scissors, you will need some yarn, and you're going to need a crochet hook. Today I'm going to use a four millimeter aluminum crochet hook. Links to everything that I use in this tutorial, including this super cute crochet hook storage will be in the description below the video. So first things first, we're going to need a slip knot. For that, if you hold on to your tail, the tail end of your yarn in one hand and create a U, cross the U over itself so that you have an X, then reach into the loop that you've created and grab on to the yarn attached to your ball and pull it tight and that creates a slip knot. And that is how we're going to begin pretty much every crochet project forever. So if you don't know how to do a slip knot, if you're a brand new beginner, check out the playlist. I have an entire playlist that shows how to do everything from a slip knot to a single crochet, double crochet, all of the stitches that you need uh, in order to do pretty much every project, every basic project is already up there. So check that playlist out and while you're there, subscribe to the channel. I do put out a new video every Tuesday and Thursday, and there are over 70 videos on how to crochet at this point. So check it out and leave me a like. Alrighty, so now we're going to chain. So a chain stitch is where you yarn over and pull your hook through like that. We're going to begin by chaining 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now that we have our chain 10, we're going to slip stitch into the next five stitches in here. So we're not working in that first chain, we're gonna work in that second chain, and we're gonna slip stitch five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. You'll know you've done it right, and haven't skipped any stitches if you have four chains left. One, two, three, and four. And the next thing we're gonna do is chain five more. One, two, three, four, five. This is the basis for our leaf. So this is gonna be the stem, and these are gonna be how we build up with our leaf. So now we're going to wrap our yarn around and working in the second chain from the hook, not this one, we're gonna work in here. We're going to do half double crochets all the way across. Every single stitch all the way across, half double crochets. Okay, and when you make it back to where your tail end attaches, like this, you're gonna have something that looks like that. And you can kind of see how we're gonna build it up at that point. So what we're gonna do from there is chain one, turn the work around, after you chain one and turn your work, we're going to be doing half double crochets for the next four stitches, only working in the back loops. So for a normal double, half double crochet, we would stick right through the top of that stitch like this. But for this, we're going to only work in the back loops, just like that. And we're gonna do four of those. So one, two, three, and four. And after we do that, those four half double crochets, we're left with this spacey, gappy sort of area. For this next stitch, we're not working in the top at all. We're actually going to do what's called a back post half double crochet. It's a mouthful, but it's not difficult. What you gotta do is wrap your hook around, insert your hook, let me show you from the top, behind that whole column or post, just like that and you'll see it looks like this from the front. So you'll wrap around, see if I can get this nice and clear and slow. You'll insert like this, have it come through like that, 
wrap around, pull it through, and then just complete your half double crochet. And then for the next stitches, we're not working in this one at all because this one is the part attached to the post. We're gonna skip that one, work into the next one, still only in the back loops for these, and we're gonna do those last four as back loops only half double crochets. Then you'll chain one, turn it around, and from here you'll see what we're starting to build. So first things first, you can see now that this column has been pulled forward and by pulling it forward, we're creating that illusion of the vein. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crochet only in the back loops for the next four. One, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna use that same zone, that previous rows post, but this time we're doing front post double crochet, half double crochet. Wrap the yarn around the hook, insert behind that post this time, wrap around and pull through, and then just complete your half double crochet as you normally would. And then working across, we're just going to keep doing half double crochets in the back loops only until you reach the end, which is another four. So it's basically gonna be four half double crochets in the back loop, one front post or back post, depending if you're working on the front or back, and then four more half double crochets in the back loops. Then we'll chain one, turn it around, back loops only, and we're gonna do four half double crochets, back loops only, two, three, and four, and then again, because now we're on the back of the leaf, we're going to do a back post double crochet. So we're gonna stretch out our stitches so we can see we're working into that post. So you'll wrap your yarn around, insert your hook, pull it up and finish a half double crochet as normal. And then four more half double crochets in the back loops only. It just makes the leaf have these really pretty, really cute details that really add a lot um, to your final project. And then we'll chain one and turn around. So now you can see we've got these veins like this and we've got that main column here. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna do one more row like this and then we're gonna start our decrease. So again, skip the first chain, working into the second stitch, half double crochet, four stitches in the back loop only. Once you've got your four, you create your front post double crochet. Again, if this is confusing, I have a whole tutorial on how to do a front post double crochet and back post double crochet, and you can check that out, and uh, it'll definitely help you understand what I'm talking about here. And then you'll do four more half double crochets in the back loops. All right, and then we'll chain one. So at this point, you can see our leaf has some veins, and now we're gonna wanna start decreasing um, in order to make it end in a point the way a leaf usually does. Okay, so after you chain one and turn, you're going to wrap your yarn around, insert into that back loop, and pull up your loop, but we're not completing the half double crochet. We're going to insert into the next back loop and pull up another loop. So instead of having three yarns on our hook, we're gonna have four. And then you just wrap around and pull through all four. And that is how you decrease one stitch with your half double crochet. And then that'll count for two of your half double crochets. So you'll only have to do two more, one and two. And now we're back at the center again. So we'll do a back post double crochet that then we'll do two more half double crochets in the back loops only and then for our last two half double crochets we're going to yarn over go in through that loop pull up one loop and then yarn 
pull up another loop. So go, sorry, we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, then go into the next back loop and pull up another loop. Again, we've got four on the hook now. And then we'll yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one and turn it around. So now you can see that's starting to come in a little bit more, which is exactly what we want. And then we've chained one and turned around. We're gonna do the same thing again. So we pull up a loop, so we've got three on there. Then we're gonna go into the next back loop, pull up a loop, so now we've got four on there. And then we'll wrap over and pull through all three. And then yarn over, now we only have one stitch left to do for our half double. And then we're going to do a front post half double crochet. And then we're gonna do a decrease stitch again. So we pulled up one loop, we've got the three. Then we go into the next stitch, pull up so that we've got four, and then yarn over and pull through all, th all four. And then chain one and turn it around. And we're gonna keep doing that decrease for the next row. So we got that, and then now we have to do our back post half double crochet, such a mouthful. And then in our next two, we will decrease again, just like that. And then we will chain one and turn it around. So now you can see it's really getting somewhere. We're starting to, starting to shrink up. This is actually one where we're going to do a regular row because I want to have one more row that shows our nice column in the middle there. Go. Back loops only. Then we will chain one, turn it around, and now we're going to just combine all of these stitches. So for that, we'll wrap our yarn around, insert into that first loop, back loop, pull up a loop, and then we're also going to insert into our column. So at this point, it's a little bit confusing. So you've got your three pieces of yarn on your hook for your, um, half double, but now we're going to insert behind that post, like as if we were doing a back post half double crochet, and then we've pulled up a loop, so now we've got four on there, and then we're gonna do the last back loop as well, and we'll pull up a loop, so now we've got five on there. Then we'll yarn over and pull through all five. And then we just chain one more, pull it nice and tight, just like that, and then we can clip our yarn and pull it through. And that's how you make that leaf. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is get a yarn needle, and then what you can do is just weave what's left, whatever your tail is, you just weave it around and through and behind that post. So all it'll end up doing is maybe adding a little bit of height, but you won't be able to see it. It's not gonna be anything noticeable. So just weave it back and forth through that post. All right, then once you pull your yarn through, you can straighten your leaf back out so that you have your nice end point. And you can weave that one through the edge. And a really cool thing that you could do to round out your leaf and make it look even more fabulous is once you've pulled it through all of these, you can pull that and then sew that piece back into your original post like this. And then just kind of tie it off like a knot. I would recommend you do that part into the back of your leaf. And what that does is it rounds out those edges so that you have this nice round leaf. You don't have these straight lines to make it look like a Christmas tree. And that's it. This is how you make a super cute, kind of realistic, I guess, crocheted leaf with just front post, back post, half double crochets, the half double crochet stitch, and also a little mini tutorial on how you uh, decrease stitches. So there it is. And if you've got a flower that you've already crocheted, you could put those guys together for some really cute 
little applique designs and you can see those ribs on it now nice and clear and you can see that spine really adds something to it. So I hope you liked this. Let me know if you did and uh, let me know what you want to see in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!